<laughs> okay. Okay, so I see now, because of the setup, because of the setup of the O2 sensor, you see? Yeah. The other one should be moving like that, like a small wave. Right, not, not, not like the first one. Not like the first one, because the first one is very close to the, yeah. to the fire. Yeah, be going rich and lean, rich and lean. And this guy is working Now, raise the RPM. Uh, did you got a tack inside there? Check it out. No? I just want to raise it up like uh, 1500 RPMs, give or take. You are at 2300. Okay. Now the injector pulls at that is 2.2.70. All right. Leave it at idle. Now, let me see something here. I want you to punch it, you know, yep. and let it go. Go ahead again. Go ahead again. All right. Save that. This file is available to data mine. Okay, turn it off. And we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. Let me see. Scanner that. Oh, let me see. If I got this. Okay, take a look at this here. This was done 14, which one is the 2010 Chevy Malibu, it's gotta be this one. 2005 Chevy Impala. Okay, open this. This one here, this one here, this one here. Now,
you're gonna show you something here very nice TP bottle Tell you to punch it. I saw it on the throttle or the barometer up there. There we go. There we go. Twelve eighty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You commanding. You commanding with the TPS to wide open throttle to wide open throttle at 1280. What the sensor did, mm -hmm. the sensor went up to 900, 959. Okay, 959 millivolts. What the second one did because it takes a while and another one to detect that. At 1290, this one was at 1280 that you command here, mm -hmm. or 1285, give or take, and the data process. This is this time here is data process. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you command fuel, this guy went to rich condition. This guy it takes a little while went to rich condition. Mm -hmm. That means that this car do not have fuel delivery problem. Yep. That means if we got the opposite, and this guy, if we got the opposite, like this guy and, and don't go to reach command, it goes to link command, yep. we got fuel delivery problem. Yeah. And you can test that with the, just a simple collecting these three TPS, RPMs. Yep. <coughs> the barrel and then another one that I got here was uh, engine speed mm -hmm. and the one I got uh, and the other one here it was the mass mass air we can take the barrel out and let the mass air, look at the mass air, how it, it picks up. At 1280, it's speaking, it's doing its job too. It's doing his job too. The injectors, they're going up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this, you the can. Data all matches. Exactly. You, you, can, you can determine without a fuel gauge, without, uh, you know, yep. without, you know, uh, what, what is the problem with my car? You know, why? is not picking up and this here is not you know this is how you test yeah um fuel delivery problems when you got fuel delivery problems this is how you test it with the mass mass air uh, bank one and the o2 bank two the injector engine speed you see the 1280 1280 they picking up mm -hmm. So that's how you test that. Yeah. And it's good. I mean, so many people do different things, but this is good to know in, in the scanner. So this guy got wiring problem. This is the problem. They got to pull the plenum out. By us wiggling the test to do some tests, uh, the car fell on us. And that is... Uh, and the first time he don't want to start, we got a a tool here. It's still firing. It's still firing. Uh, I got a big question mark with the 24X. Uh, I don't test that one, but uh, we missing fuel. Uh, fuel pulls, I mean, injector pulls. Yep. That's why this car is quitting. Yep. Then I, I decide to go to the cam because this is uh, it's controlled by the cam. 
and we find the problem in the harness. And it's a tech note and the a snap on scanner. Yeah. They say contamination with oil in that harness is known to be a problem. So this is a wrap. This car needs to take the plenum out, fix the harness, and that's it. 2005 Chevy Impala. Back again here in Doug's garage, private garage. Let me clarify that. This is not for business. This is for fun.